doing these last few days and it's just kind of just all caught up on me being like yeah I'm gonna be good like God's got me like God loves me more than anything so yeah I didn't make it through this episode without crying <laughs> another episode of Christ with Chanel. Today we'll be uh, talking about the wilderness and not giving up. So I'm going to try my hardest not to cry because this is such a word for me, which is literally going to be how this whole Christ with Chanel is going to flow. It's going to be direct words like God's giving to me and I'm just sharing it with you all. But as of recently, I'll give you guys a little backstory. As of recently, I had joined a new equip group in my church, um, and this one was focused on disappointment. And mainly I was thinking, I was going in there thinking I was dealing with one mindset of disappointment of like losing that like dear relationship I was telling you all about last episode, because of course like that completely shook my whole entire world, but it got even deeper in the concept of like, The fact that I didn't even necessarily realize I have disappointment in God (laughs) and just the fact that I gave him this timeline, I wrote everything out and he hasn't done it to the way I would like things to be done. So of course I I had to come to realization that, wow, I'm a little bit disappointed in you, Jesus, because this is not how I wanted things to go. Last class, they had this great lady of God come in and speak with us concerning church hurt and getting past those things and she had herself gone through a lot of just disappointment in the church and then of course like I've already stated that I have the ability to take negative aspects of humankind and then place those on God thinking that God's like that and that's not the case and she of course spoke on that regard because she had got to a point with her church hurt it had gotten so bad where she literally had a mental breakdown um and within that class and like talking through all these things she like offered to pray for all of us and during her prayer time with me she started to prophesy and I'm I'm hit or miss concerning like certain people (laughs) concerning prophesying over me I'll take prayer 24 7 but I'm like when you say you got like a prophetic word for me I always take it like as a grain of salt because we'll like we'll I'm like we'll see we'll see if this is real because I feel like a lot of people be talking about their their prophet their, like they can prophesy but they really can't <laughs> so her her jaint was legit and God let me know from the be- from the jump when she started to speak because I did record everything and I even went back and like wrote everything down that this was literally God using her as a tool to speak to me directly like this woman did not know me from Adam we have never met before, n- never crossed paths in the church or anything like that. And I haven't been open in this class concerning everything that I'm going through. So she not only spoke on my situation, she spoke concerning the timeline of it, how I felt, con- how I've been feeling concerning it, some struggles I've been like mentally having during this time and everything. And I was like, okay, you God, this is you for sure. Like speaking to me and like letting me know that you see me, like letting me know that like you've been here with me through all the lonely nights, the crying myself to sleep <laughs> kind of things. And just really just out here, like wondering like where you are kind of thing. And she let me know that like, no, God's been with you throughout it. And like to keep on trusting him in that, like, this is just basically like a test that like he's teaching me to trust him in a whole new level and that even though I feel like my heart was completely mishandled and completely shattered and crushed like not stabbed in the back but stabbed in the front kind of concept (laughs) that he was like no like literally in the prophecy she said that like God said like I will I will literally trade my heart for yours. Like I will give you 
it's not even giving you a new heart i'll simply give you my heart for yours which i thought that was like just so impactful but of course after hearing this word and just hearing that like god's been hearing me and like hearing my prayers and what i've been praying for that like it's gonna come true just to be patient kind of thing of course like right after because this was at the top of the week and here we are at towards the end of the week spiritual attacks like left and right and just like really just struggling within this wilderness season that I like I'm in like I know I'm not out of it yet like I like I told you all I see that the end of the tunnel I see that the light at the end of the tunnel but I know like I can't rush the season I can't rush my way out of it I have to take my time and make sure like I learn everything within it I just really been hearing God tell me throughout this time Oh, these last few days of just struggling with the spiritual warfare and just feeling so alone to not give up because the devil will try his best when you're at the end to make you want to quit but not to give up and today particularly God's just really been showing up for me in everything that I've been listening to reading and everything because like I recently just found this book concerning like making it through the wilderness as I'll, uh, that's not the actual title I'll write the actual title down below because your girl can't remember it right now but I just finished that book today and then the ser- like the sermons I was like picking out and listening to today too like not like trying to look for anything like concerning my situation at hand like I just have certain pastors and preachers I like to follow and I like to keep with, up with them weekly, but all the words were like right on top of it, like confirming that, yeah, you're going to go through some spiritual, spiritual attacks this week, but to hold on, like to keep trusting God, keep speaking his word. And like, I've definitely been doing that. And I just feel like God was like letting me know. And I want to let you all know who's going through the same thing too. Like you're nearing the end. Do not give up the devil will only I try to attack you and make you want to quit because you're so close you're so close to the end of this wilderness so don't give up just keep leaning in and trusting God and it made me and like God has been really speaking to me concerning like starting the time that Jesus went into the wilderness for 40 days he was led there by the Holy Spirit like he the Holy Spirit is what led him into the wilderness into the desert into that time of isolation so like I keep trying to remind myself like this this is not a bad thing this is a God divine thing but of course like the devil wants to come in and try to like make it a negative and try to like beat you down when you're in it and then the reality is is that I'll leave the scripture down below too so you guys can go back and like fully read the story yourself but the devil literally didn't come to tempt Jesus until the end to the end of his fast to the very end when he was about to be done with it and it said he was basically at his weakest because it said that he was hungry so of course like bro if I was out in the wilderness which means you out in the heat for 40 days and 40 nights and you haven't had nothing to eat nothing to drink well maybe not nothing to drink we don't know if he didn't have nothing to drink we know he didn't have nothing to eat because it said he was hungry and that's when the devil want to pop up and be like hmm don't you want to make this rock of bread if you're really jesus don't you want to do that and like basically coming at who he is and like trying to call him out of his identity which is what the devil will always do when he comes in to try to destroy you and makes you want to give up he wants he wants you to question who you are in christ he wants to question wants you to question your identity and like don't don't give him the time of day that jesus didn't give him the time of day he sat there let him know like bro get out my face the bible says this like you can't, that you won't live off bread alone so i'm gonna be good because i got the word of god like in me and that's basically what i've been like doing these last few days and it's just kind of just all caught up on me being like yeah i'm gonna be good like god's got me like god loves me more than anything so yeah i didn't make it through this episode without crying <laughs> But that's why I just really wanted to share with you all is that you're in a wilderness right now and you are struggling in it and you feel like you're just going like you're battling in your mind concerning like trusting God 
and keeping your foundation like strong within him and that you just feel like rocky in it like just the struggle is real like I just want you to know that you're not alone that there is other people of the faith who are in there with you and I just want to tell you just to hold on tight just to hold on hold on to Jesus as tight as you can your father is a good father God does not have you out here alone you may feel like you're completely alone without anyone to aid or help you and you may not even feel like you're hearing anything from him that you got like radio silence from your father as well but he's not he's right there guiding you to the end and that you are so close you just have to hold on I really hope that blessed somebody I know it blessed me so because like I said this is a word for me and I'm gonna probably just spend the rest of the night boohoo crying and worship because like I needed that and I just love God and I love that he is with us and he has gotten us through this so you just hold on tight but other than that I love you all I hope you all have a blessed day and a blessed week and I'll see you guys next time bye